What's going on everybody? On the last video I done on this OBD Link uh, MX Plus, I didn't get to uh, demonstrate the diagnostic side of it, checking engine lights, because some reason mine didn't pop up. But now that I have a check engine light back up, I'm going to demonstrate that and how that works out. So, of course, with your key on and all that, uh, connect to it with your Bluetooth, and then go in here and hit connect right here. It'll connect, hit diagnostic. It will run the codes. You see I got heater resistance, all these. No permanent codes are detected. You have an option where you can actually clear the codes. I'm going to hit no so I can keep showing you. And a neat option that this has is, uh, you know, if you're unsure what it is, you can click on it. And if you're connected to the internet, you can hit online lookup. And it will show you what it would be. Um, these are, and it shows you your pending codes. And once they get confirmed, they'll pop up here, which those are the same ones. Like this is a sensor 2, knock sensor 2, circuit low. And uh, it'll show a generic one, and then GM, and then I think it has one for Ford, or maybe uh, Dodge also. But then uh, freeze frame data, what I mentioned also, is it will show you when uh, this actually took place. So, uh, agent... Yeah, the temperature was 176, uh, RPM was 1600, vehicle speed was 43 miles an hour, and your ignition timing, your intake air temperature, where your throttle was at, so that's kind of, that's nice to know, which I will go ahead and clear it now, Let's see what these other ones is, PID values, report, run a report and it will uh, check everything mine has a issue with the oxygen sensor probably because on the LS swap I have only the front two and not the back two so it might still be looking for the back two clear codes Everything is clear. And now since they're clear, nothing will show up. If you have a permanent one, of course, it will stay on there. We'll refresh it. With them cleared, nothing is on there. Something else that this has, which I don't know much about, but you can go to settings, user defined PIDs and menu and you can actually i guess uh build your own pids import them in there and use them for whatever that is uh sensors of some sort i don't know but for those who do know this has that dropbox icloud feature i'm not sure what that is i don't use it logging Like I said, I just want to recap on the uh, diagnostic side of it and the PIDs. So.